What's going on and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to have a discussion with you about a couple things I believe Fortnite needs to add to mobile for us players just to make a better quality of life. Three changes I'm going to propose in today's video. Let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments. So the game's been out for mobile for I think like maybe eight or nine months now. And one of the struggles from the beginning is how do you take a PC console game and bring it to mobile, especially a game like Fortnite if you think about it. Above and beyond like a normal shooter, you have the ability to build, you have the ability to get on vehicles to fly around the map, you have the ability to have an inventory bar with different items that do different things. And to integrate this on a flat screen with no buttons is very difficult. So we've seen a lot of changes and they've gotten a lot of feedback from the community. Um, but I feel like the HUD and everything else, all these changes they made were, were very, very good and took us in a good direction. Compare that to somebody on PC who has a keyboard and gaming mouse. They've got all the key binds. They're able to do stuff really quick. So we needed a little bit of help. The other part is uh, audio. You know, PC, you have really good audio, so you can tell where players are. So one of the things that developers decided for mobile players from the beginning, you would get audio indicators. If somebody's shooting, you get an indicator. If somebody's walking close to you, you see footsteps. If somebody's gliding in on a glider, you get a gliding indicator. And that's just to help out because if you're playing on your mobile device, the speakers aren't very good. Uh, even with headphones in, uh, the audio is not the best. That's just to help us out. Well, I'm gonna suggest today two adjustments to indicators. One, adding one indicator and two, adjusting one. The first one I believe they need to add is an indicator for balloons. Balloons compared to other platforms on mobile, balloons are absolutely the meta because when you're using a balloon, they can't hear you because the crappy speakers and they can't see you because there's no footstep indicator. So this has led to people using balloons the whole match and just flying up high and just pinging people and just uh, knocking them from the head from up above. I use the balloons and when I use them, like they're very, very powerful. They're very strong when I do use them. I try not to use them too much, but balloons are the meta on mobile that needs to change. We need an indicator. The reason why it's so different on mobile, I think is one, people aren't building as fast. They can't protect their head as fast. And two, um, we just don't have audio to rely on like the PC guys. The second thing that I think needs to change you know how we have the indicator when people are walking? I think they need to change it so that you also get an indicator when people are crouching. But it wouldn't be the same radius as walking. Say if the radius is this far that you would get an indicator for walking, for crouching it would be like 25% um, of that. So a lot smaller of a radius. But the reason for this is because crouching has become a meta also on mobile that's really annoying where people literally will crouch for three or four minutes just so their footsteps aren't seen while they're walking around. And it's really annoying that people do this. Crouching should be used to be stealthy in certain situations, but crouching is also used, one, if you're shooting an AR or an SMG, you're crouched, those crossers are gonna be tighter together, so you're not gonna get as much bloom, you're gonna be more accurate with your shots. If you've built up, crouching can be used to hide your head and then you could pop out. Crouching could also use to be stealthy as well, but the problem on mobile is people will just crouch forever because of that uh, footstep indicator has just caused some weird behavior that wouldn't happen naturally in a game, and I think it needs to be fixed. I think the way to fix it is you just, add a crouching indicator, but you reduce the radius. So that way you can still crouch up on somebody, but if you're super close, then they're gonna know that you're crouching. You can still crouch up and it won't show footsteps like walking would to a certain point and then it would show up. Um, this would just help prevent campers and getting shot in the back from close quarters and stuff that's just really annoying. It just isn't really skill-based at all that needs to be removed from the game. The third thing I would propose, and this one's probably not very likely gonna change, but I just wanna make a case for it, that auto fire needs to be removed from the game. I understand why they did it. Remember how bad we all sucked in the beginning? We, we Nobody could build, people's accuracy was bad. We didn't know the maps and all that stuff. Well, now I would say 90% of the player base is very familiar with the map, has got much more accurate with their shots and could do basic builds. And a lot of, there's actually a lot of really good builders now. Auto shoot or auto fire is no longer needed. It really just puts a crutch. It also um, kind of creates some weird behavior where people just ramp up with a shotgun and once the crossers graze the body while they're coming down, boom, instant fire. I get a lot of heat because I use SMGs a lot and I spray. And the reason for that is because I don't use auto fire, if I miss my first shotgun shot, I'm probably dead. So when I use shotgun, I'll use shotgun SMG or I'll just take an SMG over like a gray shotgun because um, I know I can hit my shots versus if I miss once with shotgun while it's reloading, I'm gonna get auto fired on and die. So that's the reason I use it. But I, I think to make this game really competitive, just kind of level the playing field, make it more fun. You need to add a balloon indicator to get rid of that meta. You need to add an indicator for crouching to get rid of that weird behavior of people crouching for like minutes at a time and just camping. 
and you also need to remove auto fire. These are the changes I'm proposing to take the game to the next level. Um, let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments. If you have any other suggestions as well, I'd be curious to hear. If you agree, let me know. If you disagree, tell me why. And if you have any other suggestions, let me know down below. And uh, that should be it for the video. Appreciate you guys watching. Stick with me. Back with some live gameplay soon, and we'll see you guys later. Peace.